So that's that's one way climbing out of you know scientific method, research, reading books, trying this, trying that, becoming more aware, looking at family patterns, family constellations, studying trauma, the body keeps the score, etc. But then the other way is transcendence. And this can be a really useful accelerant during this whole process, right? Because you've got to have an ego, you've got to have thoughts that work, so you've got to climb out of the dung of what didn't work, right? But the reminder, right? There, there's also a part of us that is not in the identity, and that's the self, that's the witness. That's the transcendent brain. The one that just says, oh, that's happening, right? That's, that's the play, that's what's happening. And I am bigger than that, right? So the transcendent self, which we can access through breath, we can access through psilocybin and other medicinal plants. We can access through shamanic ritual taking the body to extremes, fatigue, you know, sleep deprivation, sensory deprivation tanks, dancing for three days and three nights, those types of things that take you to the edge, near-death experience, transcendent experience, transcendent sexuality, take you out into the edge, right? And there you can look down in the radiance. You're still in the dung as an identity. Uh, I feel so terrible. I think it's all my fault, and I feel so terrible. But now we're watching that, right? We're still in a, a, a the knot. The identity is like a puzzle. It's like a knot. It's all this tangled stuff. And we've got to figure out how to untangle it so that the ego can be more free. Because the ego uses that knot as its operating system and starts out as a clone of its cult. But the self is not in that, right? The self is watching it like, oh, it's an interesting knot there. Here's what's real. Here's what's true. Unconditional love, transcendence, interconnectedness with all things, life boundlessly going forward. This is what's happening. <coughs> but you're under manure. You don't see it. You see the manure. It's real because you're in the manure, right? But have a look up here, right? And that manure can be used as great fertilizer. Just don't put it over your face. Don't breathe it. Spread it around the earth and grow beautiful plants, right? And do this and do that, right? There's a purpose for it, just not to cover you and your awareness. So transcendence, you know, Eckhart Tolle, Buddhism, breath work, yoga, right? Yoga, breath work, and Eckhart Tolle with microdosing psilocybin. Uh, you know, you're, you're looking to gain an awareness of the one who watches the knot, the, the, the tangle that you've been given as a cult or as a cult member by your cult. And then your job is to untangle it and reassemble those raw materials in a more intelligent pattern. Like your job is to untangle the yarn and then knit a sweater that is useful for your period of time. And then you participate in the sanity and the evolution of your cult while gaining your own freedom. Thank you. <laughs>